Hi there, Phil Rogers, Lauren Hall here, coming to you with our weekly wrap, all that is trending mm-hmm. in lending. Mm-hmm. The excitement builds. Um, lead what up to Chris. Well, what a week. What a week. Something new. Uh, two things. <laughs> no, sorry. So when we, um, the big run home to Christmas, yeah? yeah? And so a couple of things we thought were really good to talk about. Firstly, Christmas party season the best part of Christmas. Uh, we're very excited. We have our Low Market Edge Christmas party uh, tonight with a little bit of a themed evening. So it should be a little bit of fun, a little bit of dress up. So uh, watch this space for no doubt some photos and videos from the evening. That'll be a bit of fun. But we hope you guys are all ramping up for that. Um, we know that there's, you know, I guess from the banks and referrers and everyone we spent some time with. So it is going to be nice to just say thank you, I guess, and spend some time yeah. together and yeah. uh, just try and get through to Christmas as well. I feel like this stuff last year was a little bit of a, not a non-event, but it yeah. wasn't maybe yeah. We're actually as allowed to catch up and, as, yeah. as it normally is. So yeah, nice so this year. very yeah. exciting. Um, interest rates. I know we've talked about it a lot, but WTF, mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. going to say something mm-hmm. like else. Um, rates have moved again this yep. week. Uh, fixed rates in particular. You know, we've seen two majors now move three times in the last five weeks. Yeah, we just, I've, I've been doing this, well, you know, obviously since I was like, Ages. I was going to say 10, 11 Decades. years. I must have been like 16 back then. <laughs> um, but I haven't seen, I haven't seen. I mean, yeah. rightly so, we're in a pandemic and it's all these things none of us have yeah. seen in a market like this. But Everything's cra- unprecedented at the moment. Crazy to see, um, you know, I mean, three months ago, we talk about one of those, give context of some numbers. Mm-hmm. Three months ago, one of those majors had a four-year fixed rate at 1.99%. Yep, here we are three months later. That rate is now 3.09%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 1.1% increase in the space of a well, majority of that's moved in probably the last Correct. five weeks. Yeah. Um, you know, and for a $500,000 mortgage, it's five and a half grand a year. It's mm-hmm. over $400 a month. That's a big shift in household expenses yeah, and, and household costs. In a costs. very short space of in time. A very, yeah, in a very short space. Um, and But interesting on the, on the side of that was just that variable rates over this period in particular have probably started to go back down. Mm-hmm. Um, so historically, and I was, I was reading some great stuff, shout out to Damo from um, Entourage. Entourage, oh, I nearly messed that up, Damien <laughs> uh, For Entourage, an interesting an article during the week on LinkedIn, and he was talking a little bit about historically, you know, 80% of uh, rates that had been on variable, you know, obviously it's a little bit different probably this last one to two years, people grabbing the fixed at the rate they have, but historically a large majority of people are on variable, yeah, and, and are probably steer away from fixed. Mm-hmm. And so for the majority of those households, it's actually gone down, um, you know, and, and then, so I guess off the back of that, then it, it, it's context as well that two years ago, we were at 3.99%, mm-hmm. right? So it, it's just, it, it's easy to get caught up in. It is. Wow, well, they've gone back up, well, you know, 1.1%. Like I get it, there's a huge shift. Mm-hmm. But remember, overnight, they, well, that was my best click. Wow. Right, there we go. Overnight, they, um, dropped. they dropped, was it March? Point, yeah, March yeah. was that big fixed rate drop, which was point seven, point eight. Yeah, so yeah. it was funny. There wasn't as much noise around that, yeah, because obviously the consumer had a little bit of a win, but mm-hmm. it's gone back up. But context, if we've gone from maybe 2% to 3 well, we were at 4 So uh, I guess it's just an understanding maybe we were talking about goals, mm-hmm. what a, a client's long-term goals are, I guess, around that. Um, and whether it was a long-term hold, whether it was about, you know, the idea of yeah, stability. Being to, if you yeah. wanted fixed oh, rate yeah. and you wanted stability in the household and mm-hmm. you wanted to um, know exactly what those repayments were going to be for a period and you could budget for that, fixed rates make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's just trying to understand and, and, and I use the word context a lot, but everyone is different in that mm-hmm. picture. There's no one size fits all or, you know, we're just chasing a rate. Yeah, we, we start with the client first and it's about, you know, goals and objectives and structure and strategy and all those things. And then I guess the, the recommendation, yeah, us working in your best interest, mm-hmm. best interest duty, there's a plug for the regulators. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that's what we do, yeah, right? Absolutely. And, and so whether it's pro variable, pro fix, like whatever that's going to look like or split lines or there's, there's a real thought process that goes into it. And it is just a snapshot in time. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And I'm going to interrupt because you're well on, you're on a roll there. Yeah. I'm never going to get in here. Um, and, you know, we, we knew rates weren't going to stay low forever. We talked about how this is crazy, how low rates went and all that current encouragement around pay more off your debt now, build up money in your redraw, in your offset, because they're not going to stay this low. So give yourself a buffer um, and build more and put more money into your loan. And we did see that, uh, you know, a big reason why rates dropped is that they really wanted people to go out and spend money to, to boost the economy. And there was interesting feedback that a lot of households had put that money into their mortgage, which was fantastic. But just that encouragement to continue if you've got that surplus money, put it into your loan, put it into your redraw and your offset for a rainy day because um, we've said they weren't going to stay low forever. And here we go. And, Starting and, to move. Um, Back to you. Uh, Damo made another good point about who's maybe pushing or the media blowing this up. Because remember, your... Um, your application or your home loan, your assessment is actually done at 3% higher than what the rate is. So when the media comes out and says, you know, the uh, the economy is going to collapse and these increases are non-sustainable and households are going to fall apart. Yeah. But remember, when you were assessed for that loan, you're actually assessed at 3% higher when the actual interest rate. Yeah. And I guess in a move like this, it, it, it does give a really good perspective about maybe why that why is the done. case, why responsible, why responsible lending, lending. Yeah, yeah, is done in that manner to help yeah. protect in, yeah. in cases like this. And, and also, again, it's now the, the, the re, uh, I guess, the discussion around whether variable or fixed is best. And we're changing, mm -hmm. some clients are changing that strategy now around those rates or, yeah. or trying to get a little bit more selective about how they want to push it. So, mm -hmm. again, and that's why dealing with the broker. Us, the dream team. Okay, us, dream team. Um, we take these things into consideration. It's a conversation. There's no one size fits all. It's no, mm -hmm. oh, well, you know, bank A is is offering this. Well, cool, but what, what does that mean? What does that mean for you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it, there's a lot more in-depth discussions and stuff we really enjoy too because that is, the, again, the structure and the strategy mm -hmm. and the high value piece mm -hmm. beyond you know, we're a relationship business, not a transaction business. Yeah. Um, and we're really proud of that. So these types of discussions are, are really relevant. And if, you know, if this is you or someone you know, and you're thinking in your house go, household going, what do I do? That's a discussion we yeah. need to have. Where are we actually up to? Or do we actually have a plan? Yeah. Did we just take a mortgage out 10 years ago? Um, and we banked with that bank because I had a Dolomite account there. I shouldn't say that because that might throw out a bank. But you know, I banked there for whatever ten years, and we just got a mortgage there because it was easy. Mum and dad banked there, and and here we are, like trying to now guess what's the best option on an interest rate. Well, I think rate is it's it's an important part of the discussion, but it doesn't come first. Yeah, it's all about again goals and objectives and all the things that we would would try and better understand before a recommendation. Yeah, mm -hmm. the bank at the end of the day is just the vehicle. Um, you know, it's just the name on the statement, to be honest. Um, you know, it's all about you guys first, and that's the benefit of a broker because a broker works for you, not the bank. Um, so, yeah, we sort of Good went job. a bit of a roll there. Well done. But hopefully, that makes some sense to what we mm -hmm. were, uh, the point we're trying to get across. And just the other quick note. This time of year, what are we, the 21st today, signing contracts. 27. I know we've been speaking about it a lot, 21st. Yep, it's not a 30-day contract at the moment. So please remember that. Uh, give that some thought. As a buyer or a seller, mm -hmm. yeah, understand what this is looking like in this period now. Let's run home to Christmas. The gap between the fact that, you know, solicitors and banks and all those things, maybe from the 23rd, 24th to maybe the 4th sort of don't exist and then... Um, not a lot happens in the middle of that. So just, yeah, it's just a reminder. I know we've spoken about it each week, but um, buying or selling, super relevant to make sure you may be picking a date, not days anymore. So not Correct. 30 days. It might be yep. 10th of January just yep. to get through this period. So yep. that's our hot tips. We got Done. through a lot. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Have a great weekend and we will talk Check soon. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. bye.